Diverticulitis Diet Sometimes, especially as they get older, people can develop little bulging pouches, in the lining of the large intestine. These are called diverticula, and the condition is known as diverticulosis. When the pouches, become inflamed, or infected, it leads to a sometimes, very painful condition called diverticulitis. In addition to having abdominal pain, people with diverticulitis, may experience nausea, vomiting, bloating, fever, constipation, or diarrhea. Many experts believe, that a low-fiber diet can lead, to diverticulosis, and diverticulitis. This may be why people in Asia, and Africa, where the diet tends, to be higher in fiber, have a very low incidence, of the condition. Diverticulosis usually, causes no, or few symptoms, leaving many people unaware, that they even have diverticula present. Diverticulitis may need to be treated with antibiotics or, in severe cases, surgery. Diet for Diverticulitis If you're experiencing, severe symptoms from diverticulitis, your doctor, may recommend a liquid diverticulitis diet, as part of your treatment, which can include 1. Water 2. Fruit juices 3. Broth 4. Ice pops Gradually you can ease back, into a regular diet. Your doctor, may advise you to start, with low fiber foods white bread, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products before introducing, high fiber foods. Fiber softens, and adds bulk to stools, helping them pass more easily, through the colon. It also reduces pressure, in the digestive tract. Many studies show, that eating fiber-rich foods, can help control diverticular symptoms. Women younger than 51 should, aim for 25 grams of fiber daily. Men younger, than 51 should aim for 38 grams, of fiber daily. Women 51, and older should get 21 grams daily. Men 51, and older should get 30 grams daily. Here are a few fiber-rich foods, to include in meals. Whole grain breads, pastas, and cereals. Beans, kidney beans and black beans, for example. Fresh fruits apples, pears, prunes. Vegetables squash, potatoes, peas, spinach. If you're having difficulty structuring, a diet on your own, consult your doctor or a dietitian. They can set up a meal plan, that works for you. Your doctor, may also recommend, a fiber supplement, such as psyllium metamucil, or methylcellulose citrusel, one to three times a day. Drinking enough water, and other fluids throughout the day, will also help prevent constipation. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, and subscribe.